Hey YouTube, it's me, Trainboard317. I have a very special unboxing for you today. As you can see, it's from the, I can tell by your packaging, it's from the UK or England. And so I'll just show you what's in here. This tape is really a lot stronger than America's. Bubble wrap. Good protection. Break on the way here. I'm not telling you what this is, but it is a very big locomotive. I should surprise you with this. Yeah, there he is, the Hornby Murdoch. Uh, my receipt. I'll read that later. So yeah, the Hornby Murdoch. Okay, he is. The box is very heavy, and he is huge. I got him off eBay for about ninety six dollars, which is actually the best deal I can get. But shipping was twenty it was like twenty three or something. So yeah, there's a new style Warby Thomas French packaging for ages three and up. And it's DCC ready. But I don't have DCC, I just have like the regular stuff. The Hornby it says Hornby locomotive on the side. And here it says Murdoch R R nine six A four. In the back, there's the engines and coaches and rolling stock. You can you can also buy. But again, I thought he'd be a lot bigger than this. But he's like, he might be the same size as Gordon, actually. But he's pretty heavy. But I wanted one for like since when he first came out, like January 2012. But I had to try and find a good deal on one. But now he's here. We just have the styrofoam tray, like all the other locomotives, and insulating sleeve for DCC. I had to look at that. And he has a Class 9F 210L steam locomotive, DCC ready and DCC fitted. And I thought I had that um, Toy Story 3 train set, which is, is out right now. But I had to get this to I so I can plug it into the adapter, and so it will, it will charge. But I think the voltage is a little different. This is different here, so it won't go full speed. So I'm use the outer line as a freight line, and the inner as a express line. So I'll see Gordon's coaster up there. So, when I hear that he's a pretty good model, one sec. We finish putting the tape off. So yeah, I got. Let's get the tender out first. Well, there's a hole in the back, we can push the thing out. The tender is pretty heavy, but I don't think he's, I'm pretty sure he's locomotive driven, not tender driven. But his, it has very good detail on, on the front and on the side with the rivets and the inner chassis and the steps going up. And 
Oh my god, these buffers are sprung. This is the first locomotive I have that has sprung buffers. I don't think Stephanie has them, but I'll check later. So it's got the coal right there and the... I don't, I don't know if that's a water tank, but I think it's an actual locomotive. See, so that's what's under it. On the track. Now we gotta get my rock out. Oh my god, he's he is very heavy. I think that's a good styrofoam thing. Brake pipe so you can attach to them later. But anyway, back to Murdoch. So yeah, it's he's a class 9 F210 steam locomotive. His face is pretty at TV accurate. Sprung buffers as well as a tender. He's got the running foot plate in the Handrail on the top. It's either like a mix of a beige and a tan uh, paint job. And he does have cab detail. I don't, I don't know if you can see it, but he does. He's got TS10 driving wheels. He's the biggest locomotive that in the range, I think. In the like series, I think. Yeah, he's a pretty awesome. He's a pretty awesome model. I've wanted him for a really long time, but now he's here. I ordered him on on May sixth, and then or May fifth, and then he, he got here today. I mean, he might be shorter than Gordon actually. Yeah, they're about the same size. Let's hope that he runs. So, plug in. I'm using my freight line, so you plug into the into the wall and switch it on. I was gonna put him on my Hornby um, setup, but because I was afraid that he won't turn on these curves. But he's actually the same size as, as Gordon, and these curves are actually longer than those. So I think he would work. I don't know how to attach the tender. This is hard. We gotta check the instructions. If I can find them. Doesn't say anything about it. Just about lubrication. I'll just get a few more tries. If anyone there who's a Hornby collector, please tell me how to do this. What the hell? Alright, there we go. I got it. Pretty fast too for a big engine. 
It is very, very smooth from what I hear. Half. Bring it down a little bit. He is very, he is fast. I think it's best to keep him at a slow speed. So that his train will, won't come off. So he's really smart than actually looks on camera. That's about 30. But he does go slower on those curves, though. I'll try it on the horn to lay out later. <laughs> oh, the wheel came off. The front bone came off again. All the wheels are driven. I don't think he has tracks and tires though. I'll try and run him on the horn be way out later. That's what I was afraid of. I thought he wouldn't curve off. He wouldn't be able to turn on his curves. So this is the last lap. Now, Murdoch was introduced in the Season 7 series of the Times and Friends um, show. He was brought to the island to help with big freight loads. And he was... And he was a... The first episode, he was from Peace and Quiet. Where he just didn't... He had hard, very hard work and just wanted time for himself at the end of the day. So if you have one of these, just want to point this out, like, try to be careful when you pick them up so you don't break these handrails. They're very fine and they will break easily. He's got his Murdoch tag right there and his pretty short funnel. And these plate things, like, hold them from the side, you can't really see his face. These little, like, black plates things. And the, he has a piston cylinder, the ten wheels. So yeah, I would recommend buying him. He's a very he's a very good model and a good addition to my collection. And I hope to I hope to start doing remakes so he can be in my be in some of my videos. But he was worth the wait and the price I paid for him. I think he is he is great. I I love him. So right now this is Train Boy 317 and I will see you in my next video. Bye.